Hi, it's Sophia, and huh, today we've got a lot of work to do. And as we, I mean me, or you too, like if you're like watching this and you know you got a lot of work to do too, we've got a lot of work to do. So get your stuff together. I'm going to be telling you or showing you why you should not procrastinate. I'm a big procrastinator. Lots of teenagers are big procrastinators. They just want a break because they spend six hours to seven hours of school a day. And they have five hours of homework every night and they just want a rest. That's why I procrastinate. Plus, um, I'm in two choirs. I play lacrosse. I, I have piano and guitar lessons. And I'm thinking about getting a job soon. And all that I have right now, lacrosse hasn't even started. And that's too much already. As you can see, by the growth of my stress acne I've had over the past week. This is from stress. It's really bad. So let me tell you what I have to do tonight. By tonight, at midnight. Right now, it is about 3 o'clock. I have... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 9 hours until midnight for me to get an essay done that was due a month ago. That's how bad of a procrastinator I am. I have one night to make up this essay. And if I do not get it done, I will not graduate. And that is a fact because I don't listen in this class. It's sociology. I should have never signed up for this class for my senior year. I should have did a more easier class. I have a D in this class. And I asked him, I'm like, if I turn in this essay, will it bring my grade up? And he's like, for sure. But I'm going to have to take some points off. I'm like, night, as long as it gets me up to a C or something. Because, honey, if I don't get this done by tonight, I cannot graduate. Because I know if I fail the exam, it's going to bring my grade down to an E. And I have to retake that next year. I can't take it next year because I'm graduating this year. There's no time to retake any more classes, okay? And then the second reason is I'm in lacrosse. They're checking for grades after this exam is over. And if I have below a 2.8, I am not getting into lacrosse. And then my life is over. So, very, very stressful. This is why you should not procrastinate, kids, or you'll end up like me. Yeah. Just don't do it. Don't do it. I learned. Actually, I haven't. I just keep on procrastinating, screwing myself over. I'm going to try to do better. Just remember, kids, do your work on time and never procrastinate, okay? Just try to get it in when it's assigned, okay? Then you can take a large amount of break and you have no, like, you have, don't have this huge stress over you, okay? Also, by the end of the night, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look like this. So, what normally helps is meditation. So, I usually listen to the ones that say, oh, like it's an Australian man. And he's like, just sit back and relax. Just lay down and pretend like you're in the grass and you're floating like a cloud. But I also <laughs> like the ones that tell me that I'm, that I, I can do this. Like I can do my work. I like those because it makes me feel better about myself. So the ones I usually type in is meditation for confidence and motivation. So when I get stressed out and I want to cry, I usually listen to that. Just calm, just chill out for a bit. And just breathe and think, I can do it. And then Jesus comes, takes the wheel sometimes, most of the time. I just, like when I do my, do my work, I plug in my headphones. I don't listen to any music that has lyrics in it. Like I get into it, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what am I doing? I have to do my work. So the, the ones that you should listen to are called music to concentrate and focus. And that usually helps. It's like a sign from Jesus. It's like the light coming in. It's like, it's like the Lord helping you. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes. Do some little meditation beforehand of telling you that you can do it. And then just plug in your headphones. Listen to some music that 
helps you concentrate and focus on your work and then just go for it don't think about anything else don't think about texting or watching tv or eating or what well, you can't eat but just don't think about anything else just think of the, the task at hand make your dreams come true do it first i think you should get in some comfy clothes i think you should have like a snack by you and some water lots of water nice let's meditate kids some people don't believe in meditation but i think you should just listen to the australian man and just like relax for a minute and see if that works just try it like what do you have else to lose like right yeah so i'm gonna meditate right now and see you in a minute all right i'm back but now i'm like really tired and kind of cold so as you can see i put scarf and blanket on and everything but um, we're not going to take that as an excuse because we don't have time for excuses. It's go time. Another tip is no distractions. Like, don't have any distractions near you. Not your phone. Turn your phone off. You're worried about your friends being worried about you. Just text them back, hey, talk to you tomorrow. I'm busy all night. And then just turn your whole phone off. Chuck it across the room. Pretend it doesn't exist anymore. Like, don't even think about it because you'll get distracted. So you take a note card and you take a pen. You basically write down all your tasks, but like instead of getting overwhelmed, you like write down a task and write next to it how many minutes you're gonna take on that task and time yourself. You be like, okay, that task is done. And then if it takes you a little more time, just spend a little more time on it. And then when it's your next task, time yourself on that task and like, it's just like a more organized way so you don't feel so old or overwhelmed with everything because you know what you have to do if it's set up like this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So the essay is for my sociology class and it's about polygamy. So I know I have to read the article. So read and highlight article. And the reason why I didn't finish this when it was assigned is because I was having trouble finding things in the article. I'm like, I cannot find anything. That's why I didn't do it. That's basically why I didn't do it. But we're gonna spend um, maybe 20 to 30 minutes on that. I don't know, maybe 15, 20. I don't know, I'm gonna put 20 minutes on that. I looked up how to type an essay in one night and it gave me some useful things. So I'm gonna share those things with you. It said, type the intro and the conclusion at last. You just focus on the body paragraphs because that's the core of it and then like, Later, you know what it's about now. So, like the introduction, like, so blah 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 blah, blah, blah and your thesis statement, blah. I have like nine hours to eight hours on this. And I honestly, like, at the beginning, I was like, this is gonna take all night. But now that I'm thinking about it and I'm like down to the core, I feel like I'm more confident than I should be, but I guess that's good. Okay, so I just wrote down eight things for me to do. So that sounds like a lot right there. The way I have it set up is more organized. Plus, they said it's also good to take a break in between so you're not so jumbled up in the head and like so your brain can just like recuperate for a minute. So I'm trying to figure out what I should do as a break because if I watch TV or watch YouTube or something, that's going to screw me up and be addicted again. That's my drug. YouTube is my drug. Since this was due a month ago, I lost my article, but my good old friend, Billy Bob Bob Billy, just kidding, my good friend, Chad, gave me his article. So, thank you. A few inches later. I'm done. I'm done with my essay, and it took me like two to two and a half hours. I thought it was going to take me like all night. I was scared. I was like... How am I going to get this done? But if you really focus and put your mind to it, you can get it done. And I got it done in like two hours and I'm like, I'm so happy. Like, if I got it done on time, like I was supposed to, I wouldn't have been so stressed. So, this is why you should not procrastinate. And I hope you took my advice on some tips I gave you. 